In this video, we will learn how to rig different hand gestures for your character animation without using any external plugin. So this is the lesson 5 of the character rigging series. In case you have missed the previous lessons, then you can check it out from the link in the description. So that being said, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator and let's see how I have designed the hands uh, to properly rig it in After Effects. Okay, we are in Adobe Illustrator and uh, these are the different hand gestures. Let's turn on the visibility of few hand gestures and let's uh, reposition the hand gestures of few uh, hands in a different location so for this hand gestures one thing that you may notice is common among all the hands are the palm area the palm area is actually uh, consistent throughout all the hand gestures because uh, when i'm rigging the uh, rigging the hand with the main character uh, i'm only going to uh, take reference of a single hand gestures but uh, when i'm uh, switching to a different hand gestures then i would want it to be properly uh, positioned uh, and there's no issue with uh, the rigging process so for that uh, it's very important to keep the palm area consistent throughout all the hand gestures okay now let's jump into adobe after effects and let's get started with the rigging process okay we are in after effects and here we have already imported the hand gestures inside the after effects composition so let's drag it and drop it into the timeline and place it on top of any of the hands so let's place it uh, on top of the right hand and let's just flip the direction go to transform and flip horizontally and now we are going to just uh, reduce the transparency a little bit and uh, rescale it and reposition it and uh, match the exact position of the original hand illustration Okay, now we are going to just parent this hand composition or the hand gesture composition with the original hand illustration and just turn off the visibility of this one and give the opacity 100% for the hand gestures composition. Now, let's turn on the shy so that we can only see the layers that are useful. So, let's select the right hand controller and let's apply slider controller here and let's lock it here in the effects control panel and let's get inside the hand gesture layer and open the opacity property and here we are going to add an expression so we're going to first uh, add a variable layer num equal to one enter control which is another variable equal to then we're going to pick whip it with this slider and a semicolon enter and then we are going to add an if else statement so if inside the brackets there would be a condition control equal to equal to the layer num then open and close parenthesis and inside print value equal to 100 that means when control is equal to number one for this layer the opacity is going to be 100 percent else then open and close parenthesis value equal to zero so if the condition is not fulfilled the value is going to be zero so right now here it's zero that's why uh, nothing is visible if i give it one we can see these hand gestures and if I change it to a different number like 4, again, it's not visible. So like this, I'm just going to copy this expression and paste it on the opacity property of other layers. And we have to change the number. For the second one, we can give number 2. So when it's 2, this hand gesture is visible. Let's give 2. You can see the hand gesture changed. And like this, we are going to copy and paste the expression on the opacity property of the hand gestures and change the layer number. Okay, so we have added expression to the opacity property of all the hand gesture layers. Now, if I change the 
number on the slider from 4 to 5, 5 to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can see with the numbers, those uh, the hand gestures are also changing over here. Now the maximum number of hand gestures over here are 18. Now the problem is if I give something like 19, nothing is going to be visible. Or if I uh, go to zero or negative, like minus one, again, nothing is going to be visible. That means we have to lock the values of this slider controller in such a way that only the uh, values from one to 18 is being printed and also there shouldn't be any decimal values for example if i uh, give something like 4.5 again nothing is going to be visible but if i give it 4 or 5 it's going to be visible so for that let's get to the main composition okay let's add expression on the slider property under the slider controller so type in math dot floor inside the bracket clamp inside the clamp we're going to pick up this slider and then dot value comma then we are going to put in the range so here it's going to be from 1 comma 18 because we have total 18 hand gestures over here okay now if i import any other number other than uh, this range like 20 uh, it's going to take 18 if i give like minus 4 it's going to take 1 and if i uh, add some decimal values like 5.5 uh, it's going to take 5 it's not even going to take decimal values so now you can easily change the hand gesture of the character rig directly from this slider controller all right so that's the end of this video in the next lesson we will learn how to rig the foot in 180 degree so that you can easily change the direction of your character rig and i'm also working on a character animation pack where you will get six plus custom character animation and a full body character rig with some customization options so i will be providing the link of the template in the description or in the comment section as soon as the product is live on our website so that is it. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.